Welcome to yet another episode of Optics Red Debates. Uh, today we are here, Theodore and Andras, and we will talk about um, fast focus eyepieces and locking focus eyepieces. Andras, you looked through all the emails we are getting on this topic uh, on our email. So, what are the most common questions uh, regarding this topic? Yeah, so diopter setting is an important thing when it comes to rivoscopes. It's one of the main part, main parts. So uh, I want to start this debate by asking you, what is the purpose of the diopter setting in general? Well, the main purpose is that some people don't wish to shoot with rivoscopes using their glasses, but their eyesight is not that perfect anymore. I'm the prime example of that. When I remove my glasses, I almost don't see anything anymore. So, but still, some people prefer to use rifoscopes without glasses. So, the diopter the setting then enables them to do the same correction like the glasses. So, you're able to go from minus 5 to plus 5 usually of the opter to correct your error of your sight. If you're not using glasses. If you're using glasses, then the glasses are already correcting this error and you have to put the diopter setting to zero. So it doesn't. It, it should but be it's, like probably, it's, it's probably it's probably more convenient be. using the the right school without glasses. It depends. If you only have an error of the opter of your sight, then normally you can adjust it and that's it. But if you have other errors oh, of yeah. your sight, like astigmatism or something else, there are many different errors of the eye. Uh, then you're bound to use the glasses. You're not able to correct everything with with an eyepiece. So then you just so leave it at the. You it's leave it at zero and use the glasses. Yeah. Uh, so this is this is the main purpose. Mm. The the next question that I have for you is how do you correctly set the diopter setting? We touched this already, mm. but still. Well, with this diopter setting, you usually just uh, make sure that you see the reticle clear. It's not about the image. You can adjust the focus of the scope and the image itself of the target with a parallax adjustment. But with the diopter adjustment, you are making sure that you see the reticle really clear. So basically, with parallax, you make sure that the target is clear. With the opter setting, you make sure that the reticle is clear. So how do you, this? you do this? The easiest way is you put your scope to the maximum magnification or in the upper half of the magnification range look into the bright white wall or into the sky but not against the sun but you never should use the scope against the sun because uh, you can you get can damage your eyes, yeah. yeah but for me it's the easiest i use the white wall or something what i'm not able to uh, focus on the wall um, and then you're just looking into the plain white and you're adjusting at the opter all the way until the reticle is completely clear and that's it. Then your uh, the opter setting is. And then the opter is set to your. And if someone else uses the rifle scope, then he will have to uh, set a diopter to his eyesight, right? Yeah. And then we come yeah. to the main topic: difference between fast focus, fast focus eyepiece and Lock. locking focus uh, uh, the opter. So what is the difference? The difference is with all modern scopes, almost you're just able to adjust the opter like this freely, and then you leave it like that. And when another user comes and uses this scope, they just move to the other direction until they find it suitable. And this is fast focus. So that means that you can really quickly adjust the opter setting and easily and... The name says it all, fast yeah. focus. Yeah. With, with locking focus, it's a little bit different. You adjust the diopter setting so that you see the, the reticle clearly. Then you have this ring. reverse locking ring and then you lock it into the fixed position. And when you do this, you just type it in like this. Now there is normally like this. Now it's locked. And now you have tension. And now it's impossible to move it and it's locked. So it's fixed in it place. It's fixed for you only. When, and when some other user is using it, it will have problems because it will not, the diopter will not be set for, his, for their eyes. So if, yeah. if that person would like to set, he would have to unscrew the ring and mm -hmm. then set the diopter to his eyesight. Yeah. In the past, many, many years ago, there were scopes, rifle scopes, which were made without any diopter compensation. So they were only, you were only 
able to use it if your eyesight was correct or with your glasses. But now all the rectoscopes fall into these two categories. Either they have a fast focus, this is the predominant trend, almost 90% of all the scopes have this system. Also more practical, right? Yeah. And then you have some other scopes, uh, a small category, a niche category, which have a locking uh, uh, the opter setting. Thank you, Theodore. I think that we covered welcome. most of the important features regarding the eyepieces and the locking, uh, regarding fast focus and locking uh, eyepieces. If you forgot anything, just send us an email in comments or, or an email or reply in comments and we'll get back to you with additional information. Also, if you found the video useful, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Bye. Bye.